Hello Leo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs. These readings might suit you better. Okay, we'll take that one. Right, here we are here. Life is a series of constantly shifting circles. We can see them here. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So when we fight against the tide, life does become more challenging. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. So this is about just accepting what's going on around you within your relationship at the moment. And this card means choose your battles carefully. Find middle ground. Don't fight, don't challenge things. Find the easiest path forward. It's not about giving in here. Definitely not about giving in. It's about finding the easiest way forward. Now, don't feel, it can feel like a bittersweet victory. Definitely. It might feel like, you know, but it's finding a compromise. We need to find a compromise here. Don't fight against the tide here. Go with it. Don't fight for the right to be right. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. So let's see what that's going to lead. Let's see what's going on spirit here for Leo. Again. A five. Now this here is, come away from antagonistic people, situations and environments. Don't doubt your ability here to find this middle ground. You will get over this. Don't doubt yourself. Go with the flow. Don't listen to other people either. Listen to your own intuition here. The uh, Knight of Cups, the Five of Swords. Hmm, twice. Five of Swords twice. So we need to look at this carefully. We need to find middle ground. We need to think about, we might have to sacrifice something to come out with what we want. We might feel like you're taking a step backwards to take two, two steps forward, but you've got, this is worth the effort. This, whatever's going on here within your relationship, it's going to be worth finding this compromise, definitely, because it's going to move you towards happiness. It's going to move you towards happiness. It'll move on. You'll be very happy. Like, let's just clarify these cards because there's a bit of a... You're dealing with something here. Let's clarify the Five of Swords because we've had that twice, haven't we? Oh, you're going to have to be the strong one. Leo, Leo, this is you. Strength. Courage. Doing the right thing. You're stronger than you give yourself credit for. Think about everything you've been through and you've still survived. So this is about being confident in your choices here. Being strong. Working together here to lay solid foundations for your future. Three of Pentacles. It's a collaborative card. So you might have to be the bigger person here. You might feel as if you're being cheated here, but you're not. The compromise is the way forward. The middle ground here. Listen to your intuition, what you're sensing, seeing and feeling around you. Your intuition will guide you here. But there's compromises needing to be made. Um, you don't want to be bickering about things and getting just arguing for the right to be right here. You have to go with this. Listen to your intuition and go with it. Don't create unnecessary animosity in your relationship. I'm trying to hear what they're saying there, sorry. Don't. Don't create unnecessary animosity in your relationship just for the sake of it, for the sake of it. Listen to, you, listen to your intuition and your heart chakra, not your ego. This is not about your ego. Your ego could lead you down the wrong path here. Our ego is something that makes us want to do something because we feel we're right. We need to be more open-minded here. I'm, I'm, I'm listening now because this is... Right. If you want a happy outcome to this, Spirit's saying here, tell me now. If you want to go ha through happiness, you're going to have to find a compromise. But your intuition would tell you that if you listen to your gut feeling and not your ego, don't argue from your headspace. They want you to take time out to listen to your intuition. Let me see. Yeah, you're doubting yourself. You're making this situation worse than it need be. Yeah. 
you'll overcome this. Don't doubt that this is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in your chart. Um, this is a little energy, devil energy saying, my God, you know, am I doing the right thing? Yes. Yes, you are. That's what will come out of it. You'll find emotional balance. Listen to your higher self. Listen to your higher self. You will find, you'll come into a more emotionally stable place with yourself and you'll resolve the issues within your relationship. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is understanding as well that you can be independent minded. Right there because I thought this is not a codependent relationship. This is not a codependent relationship where people have to be agreeing all the time with each other. You are allowed, people are allowed within soulmate type relationships to be independent minded and to stand, I'm listening to spirit now, to stand on their own two feet. You can agree to disagree here. It's about respecting what each other are bringing to the table. And not feeling beaten down. It's about respecting each other's point of view. It's about respecting each other's qualities here. I think the, the two of you have got very valid points or opinions. And we don't have to agree about everything. I got a, a reading here that was exactly about, I can't remember who it was for that was about agreeing to disagree. You can still be independent minded within relationships. That's it. You can still be independent minded within relationships. Respect and admire what your partner is bringing to the table because they are, you're very well established. You're independent people who are well balanced and there's something here that's caused some sort of antagonistic energy. This is long-term commitment, working together. Um, when I say being on the same page, I don't mean we have to agree on everything here. I'm talking about people have the same morals and ethics and standards. This is about committing to your relationship long-term and building solid future, solid future. This will be resolved. You'll get over this. You'll definitely go over this. There's healing from whatever you've been through. You're overthinking it. Don't go over it in your head. That's what's causing the problems. You're going over it and over in your head. You're getting in your own road. You need to listen to your intuition on this one. And it will transform things. You'll start to get the clarity you need. This can turn around. You're going to turn this around. It's about happiness, thinking about your happiness, doing your soul searching. You've got enough knowledge within yourself to know how to resolve this. Now, this is Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart. But there's passion going to be restored. Um, there's not a lack of passion in this relationship. It's I think there's a disagreement of some sort. But we're allowed to agree to disagree. You need to do the, some soul searching and reflecting. There's a healing energy to this as well. Take your time to get over this, whatever it is. Take a step back. Because you're going to move forward. Things can move forward very quickly once you start to see the way forward. Once you listen to your intuition, you reflect on what you've been through. This relationship is worth the compromise. <laughs> That's what I feel. That's what they're sensing. That's what spirits tell me. This relationship is worth the compromise. Okay. It's worth finding common ground and how to go forward, even if it's agreeing to disagree. Okay. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.